Today we're comparing the LifeX ZTV backlighting with the Signet 2-in-1 selfie ring light. Like a lot of people, I've been working from home for about six months now, and uh, it's taken a long time to really get used to, uh, you know, where I want to be sitting, uh, where I want to sit out in the lounge room or sit in the office. And uh, one of the things that's really been challenging me is uh, really the video quality and trying to um, you know, make sure I look presentable and uh, also the fact that people can see my face when I'm in video calls and those sorts of things. So uh, I spent uh, quite a lot of time doing some research around what sort of products to get, but also I'm on a bit of a budget because I, I don't really want to spend lots of money uh, for something that, you know, uh, I may not use for, for a long time or, or you, know, uh, you know, I'm not really a professional uh, person that's uh, doing professional videos and that sort of stuff. So I really just wanted something basic, but uh, it's tough because when you're trying to buy things online, um, you know, you, you really want to go into a shop and test, test these products out. And, and uh, I, I bought a couple of products. I bought uh, this uh, Signet uh, two-in-one ring light that's made for selfies. Uh, looks like it's designed for uh, people who want to do uh, you know, photo shoots with makeup and stuff like that. But um, really all I'm using it for is Microsoft Teams meetings and Zoom calls and those sorts of things. So um, I tried that one out and uh, that's what I'm using right now, but I'll do a before and after piece on that. But um, I didn't really sort of like the setup of this because, you know, it, it looks like it's got some sort of clamp and uh, some uh, arms, extension arms and those sorts of things. And uh, this one's powered by USB, so it, um, I'm using it right now, but the light seems a little bit too bright, and if I use this for a long time, it might really hurt my eyes. But um, something else I wanted to try out today is this uh, Life X, uh, which is some sort of light which goes behind TV screens, and I use a pretty big monitor here. I think it's about 45 inches, so I'm going to try out this product and see maybe if that is good. It also comes with Apple HomeKit as well, so uh, I might be on a call and maybe able to adjust that remotely on an app, so I'll try that out. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today is compare uh, these two products, and they're bought, both bought from JB Hi-Fi. So the first thing I've done is I've installed this uh, Signet 2-in-1 selfie ring light, and it's got a pretty bright light at the top there which has fit quite nicely behind my monitor. And as you can see, I've got the other phone there set up. And it comes with these buttons here as well, which are some controls, for, you know, adjusting the on and off, um, increase the brightness or decrease the brightness. But there's also there's a couple of different settings. There's the default white light, there's a blue light, and there's also another one, which is a yellow light. So you can sort of see them fluctuate and pressing the brightness there increases or decreases that. So it seems to be doing a pretty good job, but one of the things that really I was concerned about is the fact that, you know, I'm gonna be using this a fair bit uh, on video calls and those sorts of things. So uh, I think it's probably gonna give me a lot of eye strain because it's just so bright and it's right on your face. Um, it's sort of very, very small circle there, but um, when I was having a look at this box and on the back of it, uh, you know, it shows a girl and it seems like it's a pretty big sort of thing. So I was a little bit disappointed that it wasn't bigger, but um, it seems to be a pretty portable size there. And um, what I've done is I've just attached that to the back of the wall with some 3M Rip Grip. Uh, stuff and it's balancing quite nicely on the back of there just to keep that in place but it's the clamps a little bit too small and I don't really want to be putting it on the monitor uh, because as you can see the monitors are quite thick but it, it's probably not going to really clamp on the monitor so that's probably something you'd have to consider is you know is your monitor going to be thin enough for it to clamp onto and do you want to scratch it and that sort of thing All right, so let's do some before and after shots and I'll just show you uh, what it looks like. So this is with the light turned off. As you can see, half of my face is sort of in darkness there and doesn't really look that good. Uh, so I'll turn on the lights onto the basic setting here and I can switch between the different colors. So the next one I think is a blue light. And I thought that one's a yellow light. 
This one's a blue light, so a little bit of different changes there. And if we increase the brightness, it goes up quite high, and my skin probably looks a little bit shiny here. So you can reduce that down a little bit. And you have a fair bit of control over the different color options, which is good. Yeah, so that's looking quite nice. And um, if I just turn off the light behind me here, yeah, you definitely need some sort of room light as well, otherwise it just makes your face look too shiny or it's too bright, it looks like a tanning salon. But um, yeah, just you get quite a lot of flexibility there, so that's what it's like with no lights on in this room. So I definitely need the ceiling lights as well as um, probably this light as well, and it gives me quite a nice tone there just for taking videos on a video conference or that sort of thing. Alright, so next I'm going to open up this LifeX. It's designed for the back of TVs to give some sort of cinematic glow, but um, I was hoping that I might be able to use this behind my monitor. As you can see, it was a pretty big monitor, so I'm guessing that this will give a little bit of, you know, glow around my eyes and that sort of thing and, and help me to, uh, you know, look a little bit nicer on video calls while I'm working. So it has quite a nice box. It feels like you're opening an iPad or an iPhone or something like that. So, you know, it's quite that uh, luxurious feel. And, um, oh wow, it's packaged nicely compared to the other one, which was just thrown in a box with lots of different packaging and uh, protective stuff. This one feels like I'm definitely opening something that's a luxury item. It's got some instructions, but probably not gonna really read that. And it just looks like it's a um, an LED strip. And that's pretty stock standard, I'm guessing. So just take that out. Looks pretty standard. And I don't know what all these things are, but it's got some attachments and looks like an adapter there. That's probably a little bit more than I was expecting. The other one just had a USB cable, which is pretty you know, light on and easy, but this one looks like it might have to be plugged into the power permanently or something like that, so... Ah, oh, yes, it's got just a, an adapter there. So, potentially these are different adapters for different markets. Ah, oh, yep, like a... maybe a Japanese plug. Uh, this is probably a Japanese one. And then an Australian plug. So, not sure how this works, but it seemed I just connected them together. Maybe that should be the instructions. Nope, that was easy, so just connect that in. And then, oh yeah, it's just a power adapter there. So it's got some 3M strips on the back, that's probably quite good. And a very long cable there. It's also got a 3M on the back of it as well. Looks like everything here is designed to be attached to the wall. Um, it's got quite a, not, quite a nice logo on there. It feels like you're opening an Apple product. All right, so what I'll do is I'll set this up behind the monitor and just see how well this looks when it's attached. So I'll be back. To scan the barcode on this. So scan that. Alright, so one of the things I was really excited about was to get this connected to HomeKit, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get that done today, but I have actually connected this to the app, um, so I can control it through the app. So what I'll do first, I'll just turn off this other light, just so you can see what it's like without um, any lights on. Alright, and we'll turn this one off. All right. So this is the standard sort of look here, and as you can see how my face is uh, dark. So I'll turn on the light, and it works actually really quite nicely. It's it's it doesn't hurt my eyes. Um, it's quite balanced actually. 
it's a really good amount of uh, backlighting as you can tell and it's really nicely distributed. I'm actually very impressed. I should have bought this six months ago. And the really good thing is I can turn off that individual item there and I think there's a way that if I maybe have complete the setup home oh, uh, new group and I would say office name backlight I can spell Congratulations, oh, okay, set up a voice assistant. Um, I'll have to connect, I'll do that later. All right, so it looks like now I can also change the colors. So let's have a look at my face as I change the color scheme here. So turn it off, on. Wow, it's got some pretty cool different colors going on here I can oh it's actually really really good I love this what's this sitting here oh wow there's a whole sort of get out of town oh this is amazing you're kidding me That is so cool. And there's even themes. Oh, wow. <gasps> You're kidding me. <gasps> Whoa. This is far out. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Oh my god. This is so good. This is just incredible. <gasps> I can't believe I didn't buy this earlier. Wow, okay, so this is $100 and this is $50. And for a backlight on the computer, this is definitely the one that I want to be using. So, uh, yeah, I, this, I'm very happy that I bought this and um, I might even return this back to the shop because I don't think I'll be using this too often, but uh, conveniently it does have a little um, case, carry case there for, um, you know, a phone. So I might, might hold on to it, but in terms of the light, I don't think I'll be using the light that much. So I might replace it for just a, a, a iPhone a holder stand or something like that. So here I am testing the Signet 2-in-1 selfie ring and as you can see what I'm doing is just flicking through the different colour schemes there. It has three adjustable lighting modes, a white light, a warm yellow light and also a blue version of that and it has 10 adjustable brightness levels and an inbuilt uh, smartphone holder. So. Um, then I tried the LifeX ZTV backlighting and uh, this is what really excited me is it wasn't as uh, stressful on my eyes so I'd absolutely be able to use this for longer periods but also the type of lighting that it just gives on the face is quite subtle and you could obviously move the LEDs um, around the monitor to get the right position so um, a lot more flexibility with this. You can also set different scenes. So I set a, a scene for the meeting. So that's, uh, I've got a different brightness level than a scene for when I'm working and focusing on some projects. So overall, it's uh, quite a flexible solution. I'm very happy with it. And uh, as well as that, it has integration with Siri HomeKit, as you can see here. I just say the magic words and Siri does her thing. So. Uh, look at all the amazing things you can achieve, as well as a practical solution for a webcam backlight.